Alongside many writers and researchers, Elon Musk has made the idea that we live in a computer-generated simulation very popular. He argues that if we look at the extreme advances between vintage video games like Pong and current games like Minecraft or Fortnite, it's easy to envision a time in the near future when video games will be indecipherable from real life. Therefore, if we were living within a computer-generated reality right now, we would have no way to prove it, disprove it, or escape it. The obvious problem then is, how do we tell the difference between a universe created by a super smart, ultra advanced alien and the more traditional one created by God? Either one would be so advanced as to make our judgment of him nearly impossible, unless of course they left clues. And so he did. Our designer, no matter how you define him, has to be highly logical, systematic, mathematical, and numerical. His signature would be in a manner that could be understood by great minds throughout many centuries, likely a combination of both words and numbers. As a single, simple signature, there are few better candidates than the phi ratio, which is also known as the golden section, golden mean, or Fibonacci series. Numerically, it is most often represented as 1.618, but it can be best appreciated visually as in these examples of natural spirals in everything from seeds, leaves, and flowers to hurricanes and galaxies. Coincidentally, but not accidentally, one of the most important verses in the Bible carries the same number as Phi, 1618. That's the verse and chapter in the book of Matthew where Jesus creates the church by changing Simon's name to Peter and appointing him as its head. And this action occurs with a handful of symbolic numerical confirmations that are just too powerful to ignore. The name Peter means rock, and it was never a man's name before this. It starts with the 16th letter of the alphabet and ends with the 18th. 16 is 2 times 8. When added, the letters of Peter's name add up to 64, which is 8 times 8. Peter died at the age of 64 in A.D. 64. Incredibly, when multiplied, those letters equal 144,000, which is one of the most fascinating numbers in all of prophecy. The letter P even occurs in a position in the alphabet that denotes the phi pattern. The lesson behind these incredible alignments, the natural world and the supernatural world, is one of the cycle of life even into the hereafter. For more amazing numbers, see my channel. Thanks for watching.